Group homes in British Columbia will come under the review of the province's children and youth watchdog. Mary Ellen Terpel Lafond will launch a special investigation into government approved homes and facilities caring for children and teens who do not live at home. That review was triggered by the disturbing case of an 11 year old boy who was tasered by police at a group home in Prince George. Our legislature reporter Shachi Curl has the story. It was shocking to hear about. On April 7th, RCMP are called to a group home in BC's interior to respond to a stabbing. They did so by aiming and firing their stun guns at an 11-year-old boy. Now, British Columbians will hear something even more disturbing, that police are called to group homes meant to protect and look after children all too often. I use the uh, phrase numerous for a reason, which is frequent. Mary Ellen Terpel Fond is BC's representative for children and youth. The taser incident prompted her to take a closer look at what's happening in BC's group homes, and she says she's not liking what she sees. If the police are being called frequently to deal with behavioral issues, then the, the issue that arises for me, looking at it from the perspective of children with high needs or children with unique set of needs, um, are, is the resource meeting their needs. She says she wants to find out if the people hired to work in group homes are properly trained and whether the homes themselves are properly regulated. The opposition New Democrats claim the problems come from cuts to the children's ministry. There was at one point in time special teams of, uh, of group home uh, specialist child psychologists that would go in to deal with emergency situations. That was cut about three years ago. The minister responsible says the government will support Terpel Lafon's investigation fully. I uh, totally agree. I have exactly the same uh, concerns that she has. Uh, it is a very concerning incident and in fact I'm really personally very troubled by it. There are no timelines for the representative's group home investigation yet. The RCMP's Public Complaints Commissioner and West Van Vancouver police are also investigating what happened. Shachi Curl joins us now with more on the story. Shachi, were police being called to these group homes to enforce house laws, uh, house rules, or, or the law? Well, Hudson, you heard Mary Ellen Terpel Lafond hint at this, but not spell it out in so many words. She points out that these facilities are looking after children who have severe physical and mental health problems, big behavioral issues, and so while they may be difficult to care for as they would be in, in with their parents or in a group home, they're not necessarily always breaking laws, and so that raises major concerns about staff who will call police to deal with the children who won't obey the rules of the house. She makes the point that while police in their job training are trained to use force and, and look at that use of force continuum. They're not specifically trained to be social workers. They're not trained to de-escalate situations. And so when you have police coming into a home and a child that's out of control, the chances, she says, of police having to use force uh, because of their training is going to be much higher. Hudson. All right. We'll watch the review. Shanti, thank you. You're welcome.